today, guys, we have the best white themed CSGO inventory. 2,500 likes, and we'll do another inventory video next week. Hey, what's up guys? It's Chipper here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we have the best white themed inventory in CSGO as of 2020. This is an absolutely amazing inventory and I hope you guys do enjoy it. 2,500 likes, of course, and we'll upload another inventory video next week based on your suggestions. Basically, you guys, just leave a comment with the kind of inventory that you guys want me to do next week, like green, purple, like any color. It could be like animals, like literally anything. By the way, guys, also follow me on Twitch, join the Discord server, and big massive shout out to my Patreon for supporting the channel and anyways guys without further ado let's get right into it so the first skin in this video is the usps road rash and basically imagine a road but it's rashed the price is reasonable but it's a little pricey for what it is and obviously the more battle scarred the better the meme fun fact about this skin even a factory new version basically looks battle scarred so no matter what it's going to be scratched up next up we have the dual beretta stained have you ever wanted to have a stain me neither, but there is a skin that will change your entire perspective on stains. The dual Beretta is stained. Seriously though, these are insanely cheap and they're pretty nice for, for a white themed inventory. I mean, they're not the prettiest skins in the world, but they definitely fit the inventory perfectly to a T. Next up, we have the P250 Whiteout. It's literally just pure white. What else can I say about it? It's, if Snow White had a pistol, it would be this and it would be effective because honestly, not going to lie, this is a very amazing skin because it's so clean. It's just pure one color. It's called the whiteout for a reason. It's like the perfect choice for the P250 for a white themed inventory. Next skin. Next up, we have possibly one of the classiest skins in the entire game, the CZ75 Tuxedo. And what can I say other than the fact that it's incredibly clean? It's literally just black and white, and it just has nice, clean colors. Very, very sick, very clean. 10 out of 10. Would rate again. Next up, we have the Desert Eagle Hypnotic, and it is literally a zebra deagle. Like, how cool is that? No, in all honesty, though, it's just a pretty clean deal. I mean, it's it's a little pricey, obviously, but, you know, it's a white-themed deagle, and it kind of looks like a zebra, so it's kind of a win-win in my opinion. And it definitely fits the white-themed inventory, but if you want one with a little more white, and if you want one that's cheaper, there's also the Deagle Mecha Industries. Anyways, next skin. Next up, we have the Glock 18 Wasteland Rebel, and obviously this skin isn't exactly super white, but it's the only one that I was able to find that had a decent amount of white on it. And, well, it's in the form of text. So Valve, please, 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 in the next case, release a white-themed Glock skin so we can actually make a proper white-themed inventory. I mean, this is cool, but eh, it could be so much better. The first SMG is the MP9 Hypnotic, and much like the Deagle Hypnotic, it's basically a zebra skin, essentially. At least on the bright side though, this one definitely looks a lot more white than the other one. The other one's kind of more yellowish, but this one is clean, white, and black. Very cool. Next up, we have the Mac 10 Calf Skin, and this is actually one of the newer skins in the game, but it is very, very solid. And actually, if you look at it, it kind of matches like the gloves and the sleeves on the character that we're running right now like it's the exact same kind of like leather and for such a low price like this is definitely a must-have mac 10 skin for a white themed inventory it's very clean and it's very cool it also kind of low-key looks like a louis vuitton mac 10 next skin next up we have the mp7 whiteout and just like the p250 whiteout this is a perfect skin for this inventory just because it is pure white and the better the condition the more clean it looks and if you want to go all the way you can always pick it up in factory new but be warned it is pretty damn expensive so if you're looking for the best price to performance if you want to get the cleanest looking whiteout just go with minimal wear because it's ch way cheaper than factory new next skin next up we have the ump arctic wolf and this is it's a pretty cool skin, not gonna lie. It's basically a wolf themed UMP and it has a decent amount of white on it too, so it definitely fits the inventory perfectly. There's no complaints at all. Now we have the P90 Death Grip, and this is a skin that I actually haven't really seen in the past, but it's been around for a little while. It's basically just a bunch of hands touching each other. And I know if you get it in Battle Scarred 2, it actually looks like a bunch of skeleton hands touching each other, so it's really cool. So yeah, pretty solid P90 skin for a white inventory. Next skin. And for the final SMG, we have the PP Bison Bamboo Print. Basically, it's just a very nice looking white themed kind of PP Bison with a bunch of leaves on it. I guess I'm assuming those are bamboo trees and it is from the Rising Sun collection. So kind of makes sense. Bamboo, Rising Sun, 
yeah but overall this is a pretty good pp bison skin on a budget for a white themed inventory so yeah i had to throw it in moving on to the heavies the first skin is the nova mandrel this is a very cheap skin like literally eight cents for factory new so you can't go wrong and it's a white themed nova so Yep, fits the inventory perfectly, no problems whatsoever, and it actually doesn't look that bad for the price. I feel like this is probably one of the best looking 8 cent skins by far in the game. Next up, we have the XM1014 Black Tie, and this is a very simple skin. It's basically just black and white, but the white definitely shines, and the black kind of like enhances it. Well, it's more it's more like default than black, but you know what I mean. It's, it's pretty cool, and it has a lot of white on it too, so it fits the inventory to a T. Next up, we have the Mag 7 Firestarter. It's basically just mostly white, but it has a little bit of red on it, which is kind of cool. Considering it's a relatively cheap skin, it's honestly not a bad option for a white themed inventory. All right, next skin. Now we have the Sawed Off Wasteland Princess, and this is actually the one that I found that had the most amount of white. Obviously, it's not fully white. There's a lot of pink on it and a lot of blue, but there's enough white to justify it and, you know, basically call it a white themed skin. Not everything has to be like full white. Some stuff has other colors too, but this was the Sawed Off that fit the inventory the best. Next skin. Next up, we have the Negev Prototype, and this is actually one of the newer skins from this video. It's from the Prisma 2 Collection, and it's actually one of the cheaper ones. It's one of the mill specs, so you definitely can't go wrong. It's a pretty solid skin, and it has a little bit of red on it, but it's mostly white, and then a lot of it looks default, but it's pretty cool. <gasps> Next skin. And the final heavy to finish off the list is the M249 Blizzard Marbleized. And look at my arm right there. It is detached from my body, but I don't care because look at this fantastic masterpiece of a skin. It's white, it has a little bit of blue, and it has a pretty cool design. But getting it in factory new is pretty expensive, so I would highly recommend getting it in minimal wear. We have the Blizzard Marbleized. All right, guys, now we're on the rifles. The first skin is the M4A4 Asimov, and this is an absolutely amazing M4 skin. Basically, it's mostly white, but it has a little bit of orange, which definitely takes it to the next level, and it also has little accents of black, too. So just the combination of all the colors looks incredible, but the main color, obviously, is white. So it definitely fits the theme of the inventory just to a T. Like, obviously, we also picked a bunch of other... Well, you'll see in a second, but it matches a lot of the other skins in the inventory. Next skin... Next up, we have the Scout Detour. Basically, this is an incredibly nice skin. It's essentially, well, it's a white themed Scout, but with a bunch of arrows and just an overall really sick design. And the arrows just, they just do whatever they want to do, which is definitely really cool in my book because like it adds a little bit of chaos. It adds a little bit of discord and it really makes the design really avant-garde. Next skin. Next up is a repeat of a skin we already used. It's the Og Arctic Wolf. And I can't really say anything else about it. It's just a really sick design, and it obviously has a decent amount of white on it, too. Plus, you know, it has a cool little wolf on the actual skin itself, like right there. I'll zoom into it, like right now. Like, look at that, dude. It's pretty cool. Next skin. Next up, we have the Op Asimov. And I wasn't lying when I said the M4 Asimov was similar to other skins on this list. Well, because I had to go with the Asimov because it's not, I mean, it's not too expensive. It's more of a medium tier skin. I feel like it's one of the better looking overall white themed ops in the game. And obviously like, you know, the M4, it has some accents of orange and black, which definitely accentuated and take it to the next level. Next skin. Moving on, we have the Scars 20 Cyrex. And this one actually has a very little amount of white. But the only reason why I picked this was because it was actually the skin that had the most amount of white on it, even though it's mostly black and it has accents of red. I felt like this was the skin that definitely matched the overall loadout the best. Next skin. Now we have the FOMAS Mecha Industries, and this is basically the exact opposite of the Cyrex. It's pretty much mostly red, and it has little accents of black and red. So it's actually super similar, but in a completely different way. And overall, this is just a nice, clean skin with some pretty cool details to it. You know, some like really cool accents. Now we have the G3 SG1 Arctic Camo, and actually like a lot of other skins in this list, this is this one is relatively rare, especially in factory new, so getting it in factory new is kind of pricey, so I would highly recommend going with minimal wear for one of these bad boys, but basically it's kind of like a winter kind of themed skin, which winter, white, fits the inventory. Yep. Next skin, buckles. All right, guys, here's the scoop. Next up, we have the Galele Taxito, which is a very cool skin. It's very classy. Obviously, it's mostly white, but has a little couple accents of black. So it's a great combination. Much like the CZ Taxito, it is basically the same, but it's a Galil. All right, guys, next up, we have the AK-47 Asimov. I had to throw another Asimov on here because I just love the Asimovs, and I feel like this is probably the AK that would obviously match the inventory the most. It's the one with the most white and just, you know, just 
it's a white themed inventory, so we might as well pick the ones that match the inventory the best. So the AK Asimov, super dope skin. Nice skin. Now we have the SG553 Integral. We've basically, I know we've used this in the other two inventory videos, but this one is, I mean, it's red, blue, and white. So it, it literally fits all three inventories. You could use it for either one. And I was gonna go with the Damascus Steel originally, but then I realized it's not really white. It's more like darkish gray with like, it was kind of ugly. So I had to swap this at the last second and it was 100% worth it because the Integral is overall the best Krieg in the game hands down. And the final skin on this list, if you don't want to go with the M4A4, I probably should have put this near the M4A4, but oof. But anyways, it's the M4A1S Mecha Industries, and it's just an amazing skin, obviously. Well, we've already described a couple Mecha Industries before, but it matches the inventory. It's white with some black, and then there's accents of red, and it's a very cool skin. All right, guys, next up we have the, for the knife, you can use pretty much any Damascus steel, but I decided to go with the gut knife. Well, cause obviously that was the only one that I had in my inventory. Like you could go with a cram, but you could go with an M9 bayonet. You can literally get anything. It literally doesn't matter. Like any Damascus steel fits a white themed inventory just perfectly. And then for the gloves, I went with the driver's gloves, King Snakes. I mean, it kind of, it kind of makes sense that a pair of fully white gloves would go with a fully white themed inventory. Yep, the King Snake gloves are definitely the best in my opinion for a white inventory. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe click that bell icon and if you guys want more videos like this just let me know in the comments down below uh which kind of like inventory do you guys want to see next time because we could do like obviously green as green or purple as i mentioned earlier we could do like the best like animals like themed inventory we could do like just there's so many things we could do so if you have any ideas if you have any suggestions just let me know in the comments down below because i do read i try to read all the comments but sometimes we get way too many to where it's impossible to read all of them but i will do my absolute best to read all the comments but but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe with the bell icon rung to get notified every time I upload a video. Join the notification squad today. Also, follow me on Twitch. We are live right now, actually, twitch.tv forward slash Jim Russian Z. And uh, hey, guys, I have a Discord server. So join the Discord server if you haven't already. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace. Hey, guys, you can't forget about the 5-7 comments. Five,